Hey there, this is Jessica from JewelryTutorialHQ.com and Bespangled Beads on Etsy. In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how I like to finish off my knotted waxed cord jewelry so the ends don't fray. Before we get started, I need to cover quickly some important safety tips. If you're under the age of 18, please do not attempt this technique without adult supervision. We're going to be using an open flame, so I recommend that you have a bowl of water nearby just in case your piece catches on fire so you can dunk it in there to put it out. I highly recommend using a lighter instead of a match or a candle as it is much, much safer because the flame will turn off when you're not using it. And please be sure that you're not working over a flammable surface, such as on top of a towel or a tablecloth, and that you have long hair tied back safely. And lastly, please note that in this video I am demonstrating on waxed cord, which is very important for this technique to work. So let's go ahead and get started. First, you grab your bowl of water and make sure it's close by. And then you're going to need a lighter. And then you can just slowly apply the flame. Make sure you're holding your cord far back from the area that you're going to burn and just give it a little bit of heat at a time and pull back in between. Now this can catch fire so don't just hold it on there. And you'll see that the wax melts up and kind of forms a nice smooth ball that's in my opinion way better than glue. By the way it is a good idea to turn off your ceiling fan. Mine is on and it's a little bit more difficult to control the flame so I'm going to fix that before the next shot here. So then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on my sliding knot here. And this is a little trickier. You just want to be careful that you obviously don't burn your fingers as well as try to avoid as much as you can the part of the cord that's going through the knot. And you see how that just shrinks up nicely and it makes a neat finish on your knotted cord jewelry. Be sure to check out my playlist for more cord knotting tips, tricks, and even a tutorial on the bracelet that I demonstrated this video on. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this quick tip was helpful, and I hope you might visit me over at jewelrytutorialhq.com and bespangledbeads.etsy.com.